it was a quite a close call. But that's what I was there for, to protect Mr. Ariosto uh, from the dangers that, that, that lurk around in these wilds. He was, he was doing his stand-up in Espanol. He's a brilliant man. He, you know, he writes poetry in Spanish. I, I didn't know that about him, but he does. He was doing his stand-up on this very important story, and I saw the stampede of horses coming toward him. And I grab a stick and I run toward them and I start chasing them away. Yet there was this one tremendous horse who broke through and pushed me down and I started chasing him. He came just probably that close to hitting David. Let's go to video. Y en la, la territorio de la gente, gente indígena. I wish I got that one. <laughs> I'm gonna chase him back. Oh, just do your thing. After that close call, I followed the horse, chasing him, and as you see in the video, I kept him away from David, although at great peril to myself as I tumbled down the hill. This for the camera, that was definitely one that worked. That last one was good. Jesus Christ. As you can see, I was successful in catching the horse. And in the last day, I've spent much of my waking hours domesticating this horse. I saddled him. I said, horse, as your punishment, you must accompany David Ariosto across the continental divide into the Cunyala. The horse said, ah! but through my horse whispering expertise, you see a very calm, calm animal there who now will carry David's wardrobe into the Kunayala. <laughs>